Welcome back to yet another SOLIDWORKS tutorial and today is all about SOLIDWORKS simulation and specifically the question we're asking is how do I know my results are real? Now what we're going to be looking at is convergence and verifying results through convergence so a really interesting topic. Let's get this study set up and in place so that we can use it. So what have we got in front of us? Really simple little L-shaped bracket. It's fixed at the top. It's got a load where we're applying right now of 450 newtons. And there we go. It doesn't get much more simpler than this. Let's go ahead and run it. Get a baseline of our results, as you can see here. So as it stands, we have really nothing to compare this result to. We can't say for certain or not if it's going to be realistic or if it's maybe a little anomaly in the study that we're seeing that's causing this high stress. We don't know. So let's go ahead and get this switched over to megapascals and I'll tend to use floating values rather than scientific values just because it makes things a little bit easier to read. So we'll do that throughout this video. And there we have it. We are getting a stress result of 33 megapascals along that inner edge and okay, fair enough. Now what do we do to try and qualify that result? How do we know whether what we're looking at there is real or not? Well, this is where we can use convergence, the idea of creating subsequent studies each time refining the mesh a little bit further and further and seeing what it does to the result. So we're going to refine this mesh. We're going to make the mesh a lot smaller, a lot denser, rerun it and see how the result comes out. Now, whilst this runs, let's talk a little bit about what we would expect to see. So in a study wherein the stress result is converging, we would expect to see it increment by a couple of percent. It certainly shouldn't be doubling or creating some crazy stress value. That would suggest the opposite to us. That would suggest that the result is in fact diverging and we would have a modeling problem. So let's allow this to run and just see exactly what our stress result looks like. Now what we've got is a massive, well relatively massive, 60 megapascals. I say relative with respect to the original study we done, that was only 33 megapascals. So what is going on here? If we open up that stress plot and take a look, the fact that the stress is doubling just by refining the mesh suggests that we've got a modeling problem here and that result is not realistic. Now, some of you who may be familiar with simulation might be seeing my problem already. My issue is I've got a sharp corner where we've got a high density of stress. In other words, it's known as a sharp re-entrant corner and a mathematician would describe the stress as being infinite in that location. So what we're doing by incrementing the mesh, making the mesh finer and finer, is basically allowing the mathematical model to display more stress. Bottom line, the finer and finer we make this mesh, the higher and higher the stress result is going to go. Now what we've done in the background here is created another study and this study has a fillet at that sharp corner. We don't have a sharp corner at it anymore, so therefore that should fix the problem. We've run one study so far, it came out at 41 megapascals, now let's create a more refined version of it using this fillet and we'll see if it does the same thing. Is the result going to diverge, is it going to double like we've seen before? Or is it going to increase by that couple of percent suggesting that it is converging? Well, let's run it and find out. And there we have it. We've went to a value of 48 megapascals from what we had before, 41 megapascals. Exactly the kind of stress increment that we would expect by refining the mesh. So let's do one more. Generally, when we're seeking convergence or we're doing a convergence study, we would run three and what I'll use for this one is a mesh control. So it allows me to add a local mesh refinement rather than having to refine the entire model. There's another little advanced tip for you. We'll let this finish off. And again, remember we went 41 to 48. And let's see what we're getting now, 51. So you can see there, as we gradually refine it, we are approaching a finite value for this stress. In other words, it's gonna perfectly converge at some point. Now, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in getting some simulation training or more information, please do drop a comment below.